most important things for me and, and anything with basketball are footwork and balance. And I think a lot of players overlook that attribute. Um, and I'm not even sure if a lot of, a lot of skilled trainers in the country focus on it. Uh, whether you're a big man, point guard, wing, small for whatever it is, whatever position you play, you're going to be a much better player if you have good balance and you have good footwork, whether it be from your ball handling to your jump shot to working in the post. Footwork and balance is, is those two things are the key elements to every good player. Those two things, that's the foundation of all of my skill development. Um, I have built a pretty good, I like to, like to think I built a pretty good program just by combining and mixing those things together for a pretty dynamic package. Uh, I like to do a lot of advanced ball handling. Um, you know, I myself, when I played, I tried to be as, as complete a player as I could be, which is the part that allowed me to come up with the whole concept of creating a company called 94 Feet Game. I think if you're going to be a player, uh, I, I don't train players to be a position player. If you're going to be a basketball player, let's be a basketball player. I'll take a, a seven-foot big man and, and work on his ball handling. I'll take a point guard and stick him on the block, and vice versa, and, and everything in between. And the whole key to everybody, if you want to be a good basketball player, is just that, be a good basketball player. I think everybody in everybody's business, you'd love to have a gym full of guys. But for me, I think I'm productive when I have enough guys that I can manage. Ideally for me, every year I like to have eight, Ten guys is pushing me because then I know I can manage all ten of those guys. I can put them in small groups, work them out in groups of two, groups of three. And that way, they get all the individual attention that they need, and they get better. They get their reps. You know, if they're doing something wrong, if they, if they need some some correction or something, I can actually stop them and correct them without losing a lot of time. You know, more guys here. If we're just having open gym or or, or, or organized run. No problem, I'll have 20 or 25 guys in the gym. But when we're, we're trying to get some, some basic and advanced skill development together, I like for the numbers to be really condensed to where I can actually touch each individual guy and they feel like they're getting better. The NBA, man, is, is a fast-paced game. They don't understand the speed of the game. Those guys play fast. I mean, you got a 24-second shot clock. It's not a lot of time. You know, it takes you about between four to six seconds to get the ball up the floor. That's even into the clock, so the game is it's a lot faster. So try to get the guys to understand, look, you need to move quick, but you need to stay under control. You need to be able to get yourself organized, make the game more efficient. Less is more is what I try to teach guys as far as pro basketball is concerned. Um, college, you know, from high school to college to pro, every one of those levels, there's a, there's a tremendous jump. There's adjustments. From guys going from high school to college, they have to adjust. From guys going from high school to the NBA, they have to adjust. Uh, from guys coming from Europe to the NBA, they have to adjust. And even from guys going from the NBA to Europe, there's a huge adjustment just in the, in the level of play and the way things, the way the game is played. The NBA is a super fast game, and uh, I try to get, I try to get a game environment where guys have to understand. Look, the way you practice is the way you. Here's one thing about me as a trainer. Anybody that wants to come work with me, if you're not prepared to work, I'm not the right guy. And I have no problem telling people that. I don't, I don't know any other way but hard work. So if you're not prepared to work hard and move quick and practice the way you're going to play, we won't get along. <laughs> so I, I, think, uh, I think I've been known for that. So I try to get guys to understand, look, you got to work hard and move quick. I think those are those are also key elements in becoming a good player. It's just how hard you're willing to work and how how quick you're willing to pick the game up. The speed of the game is a, is a whole other animal in the NBA. I want guys to leave here, man. One, they're in shape. I never like a guy to come work out with me or, or go to an NBA workout and they say, who you been working out with? Now, if they're asking that because he's in shape and he looks good, that's always a good thing. But if they're asking that because he's out of shape and he's not able to run up and down the floor, that's not a good sign. For me as a trainer, for you know, and as a trainer, anybody, any of us, strength coach and, and basketball coach, skill coach, you have to be in shape. You have to be able to run up and down the floor. You, 
you got to be able to play defense. You have to be able to play offense, both sides of the ball. So fitness, fitness is also a big part of it. You can be skilled, skilled to the T, but if you can't run up and down the floor, unfortunately, basketball is not a half-court game in the sense of playing full court. So condition is very big. Getting guys to understand that you got to be mentally tough. You know, you have to be. I always want my guys to look the best in their workouts. You know, and it's not always like that perfect, but you strive to, to give your guys the best template they can to where they look sharp, they look efficient. You ask anybody that's ever trained with me, I think that they get results. They get results and they get better. The most thing I picked up from Phil is like my ball handling's gotten so much better. I got a lot better with my footwork. Uh, if you watch Phil demonstrate the ball handling drills and the footwork, you can tell he played the game. Uh, it's been a great experience. I've seen my game transform, um, and it's, it's been a challenge, but it's uh, the type of job where you're happy to come in and work every day. He's given a lot of personal attention to every single player, and uh, he's been very good for us. It's easy to get the concept of the moves he's trying to do when he's actually out there showing you how to do the moves itself. So, and not just saying go do this, this, and that. He's actually showing you how smooth it should look. Just been uh, playing a lot of five on five with uh, guys that are training with Phil, and the stuff we're doing in here and the stuff we do up on the track is feeling good. I can feel it already. Feel a lot stronger and more explosive. So just came back from one of my workouts with the Kings. Uh, a lot of my numbers, uh, my uh, speed and agility numbers, definitely are, have increased and are, are continuing to increase with the work here. The main thing I've seen though. Uh, along with my stamina and conditioning is uh, just my hand and my foot speed has gotten a lot better. Well, with me, my biggest thing is weight loss, and I've already lost almost about 10 pounds in two weeks, so that's pretty good. And then just on the court, my quickness and my wind getting up and down the floor is a lot better from where I started even two weeks ago. The thing that, that I feel really makes his work is that he believes in his work so much that you can't help but believe and everything that you're doing. And uh, when you have a, a trainer who's so passionate about what he does, um, you know, it, it, it really translates to, to your, your workouts.